What's going on guys? And for the win here, we are back with our franchise mode as the Seattle Seaman and check out those lot of results. Detroit stays in first, but New Jersey jumps up from 15 to 2. Winnipeg jumps up from 10 to 3. Craziness. New York and San Jose both drop back as does Minnesota, Washington, Nashville, Los Angeles. Jeez, people got boned, man. That's pretty nuts right there. I've never seen a 15 jump up that high, that is for sure. All right, but there you have it, New Jersey. Time for another good pick, I guess. Uh, so let's check out the draft class here. Uh, not going to get too much more scouted. Obviously, we're not grabbing anything here, but we do have... There's a goalie we can grab. There's also a sniper we can grab here. Medium elite sniper. Right-handed dude. Yeah, he's going to be weak on face-off, so he's a future winger. Uh, Five-year ETA. Like, obviously, taking a long time to develop. It might be good to have him in the system, honestly. Uh, even though one of his personality quirks may be that he could lack the drive to win. It's obviously not exactly great, but you know what? I think I'll interview him because I want to see if that personality is 100% true, and I want to see what his player style is, so I think that's a good guy to interview right there, is that Solovyov dude. Um, after that, a bunch of two-tick elites and stuff like that, plenty. Yikes, and then only one guaranteed low elite here in the second round, power forward, Wesley Roenick. Not a great skater, but good everywhere else. Good shot, everything. Four-year ETA at age 18. Not too bad. And would likely mesh well in any locker room, but I don't really need to interview him. So interview-wise, I'm not too sure what we'll be doing. Maybe this guy. Similar to Pavelski. Weak on, I don't want him to be weak on face-offs, but he might be. <laughs> we actually, all of our centers pretty much are weak on face-offs, which isn't great. It's not too great here. But that's what it's coming down to here. So, I don't know. I'll interview maybe a couple people. But that's about it. Most of the stuff we got that I've been looking at is pretty well scouted. And that's within our range, at least. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We shall figure it out. Let's see retirements here. Let's see if Ovi does retire. He might. He doesn't look like he did. Nope. All right, so he's going to stick around. I don't think we're going to bring him back on this team. I think he's going to decline too heavily, really, to be uh, a solid piece on our squad. I'll take a look at it again, but I'm pretty sure we're going to let him go. All right. Uh, Giroud is gone. How old? Oh, man. Wow, rough retirement there for Giroud, age 36, 87 overall still. Maybe he just had enough with Philly. He's like, fuck it, I'm out. <laughs> uh, Eric Stahl, yeah, he was done. Blake Wheeler, also done. Pavs, yeah, pretty done considering his age, injuries he's had. Justin Williams, 42, still an 82. Could have played, but, you know. Uh, Marchand's another weird one. Yeah, still at 88 overall retirement there. Crazy. Yandel retiring makes a bit of sense. Suter as well. Neil, Weber. Okay, scroll through the rest here. Lucic, good riddance. Seabrook. All right, let's see what else. All right, that's pretty much it. And goalies. Uh, Lundqvist, Hank the Tank, finally gone. Great career for him. Over 1,000 games played. Over five, nearing on five, 600 wins. 70 shutouts in his career. Look at those career numbers. Very good. Yeah, he was done. Miller as well. Yep. Goalies are the ones who make the most sense when they retire, because all of them are pretty much done. Yeah, they could be backups, but, like, do they want to where they're at in their careers? Probably not. So, there we go. And now... Is it finishing simming? Oh, goodness. I was like, what the hell? Uh, Claude Giroux becomes a coach. Interesting. Maybe we want a young-ass coach. We'll take a look at him, because we might be looking at a new coach here. All right, anyone? All right, so Colin Heward from Burnaby retires as a coach. Okay, anyone from our main roster here retiring? It's a lot of retirements. Doesn't look like it. Nope. No one from our NHL team, but one of our AHL coaches retired. That's a bit unfortunate. Let's actually see if I'm going to interview some people here. We're not going to have a pickup there, obviously, so don't worry about that. Don't know anything about this guy. Our picks will be around this sort of area here. Which is hilariously where we have kind of a lack of information. A right-handed defenseman's kind of good. Hmm. Three-year ETA. Similar to Sergei Gonchar. That's a name I haven't heard in a while. Um, what do I need? I already have his personality. I have pretty much anything, everything about him besides his potential. 
And we're not gonna get much help on that. Yeah, this is hilarious. Everywhere around here, we're lacking tons of information. Cool. But there is a low elite right here. This Ronin guy. But again, we know literally everything about him besides his personality, but... Yeah. Might be taking him, but we also have some seconds. Yeah, this is... I don't even know if I want to do interviews, man. Pretty lacking some scouting information here. Let me go back to those potentials. It was that one guy I know I wanted to interview. Who was it? Yes. Uh, Sol Solovyov. Because I want to get his personality and his player type. So I'll definitely interview this guy, but that actually might be it. I don't really need to interview anyone else. So let's check your personality. Yeah, okay, carefree dude. And what is it? Oh yeah, play style. What is his play style? Making passes. He likes to dish the puck. So maybe actually a play yeah, it looks like a playmaker, not a sniper. So interesting. Um so let's just let's see what he thinks his strengths are. Cause I know he's weak on face off, so he's not gonna be a center. Okay, so he's actually a good skater. Okay. Interesting. Alright. There we go. So he's carefree, he's a playmaker, and he likes to skate. So yeah, we at least get a bit of information on that. So we know we're getting a playmaker who's likely going to be a winger for us. Now I actually might go with this guy to interview this dude. Let's say four year and oh he is 20. Okay, I was interested for a sec, but not so much anymore. Not with that four year NHL ETA. This guy might be interesting to take a look at. Simply because he's 18, and around this area, he could be a top six. And if he's a center, not weak on faceoffs, that's good for us. So let's actually do that. Maybe strengths, weaknesses. Yeah, strengths, weaknesses, and player style. I'm going to do that for him. Because we actually don't have any true center prospects. So let's do play style first before we forget that. Yeah, power forward. So he is a power forward confirmed. Okay. And we'll do strengths and weaknesses here. And that'll be enough. We might even get a... We probably won't see his true potential, but I'm trying anyway. He likes his shot. Okay. All right. And he likes to go in front of the... N oh, oh no. I could put it in the net for my own end. Oh. Weakness. He's not a good skater. All right, that's fine. Doesn't seem to affect the sim too much. All righty. So, come on. Give us... You going to give us some potential here? Nope, doesn't do anything like that, but we know what he is now. Ah. <laughs> I really wish it would give you some of that more often. It's very rare you get that. Sometimes you find out if someone's a gem, so sometimes, yeah, it is still kind of worth it to check dudes out, but oftentimes it still isn't. All right, this guy's close to top six, so might be worth it. Looks like he's weak on face-off, so it's less worth it. Hull, on the other hand, all again, probably going to be... God damn, everyone's weak on face-offs. I don't know, I got one more interview here, I might just skip it. I'd love to find some kind of a gem, though, if I could. This guy's a righty, around where we're at. Three-year ETA. But that's really all I need to know about him, is his potential in that. Screw it. Yeah, let's hope we can get lucky and see if we can find any potential. He might actually be a top six. But, no. Oh, let's see if we can get lucky here. I'll just do strengths and weaknesses and like something else here. Uh, okay, he's a good skater. Cool story, bro. How about your weaknesses? So he's not physical. That's fine, too. A defenseman. What does he say about his personality? Because that one always changes. Because what it says about him... Yeah, so it says carefree there, but I'm pretty sure it said something else for his actual personality in the... That's win. That's weird. Come on, give me give me some extra... I hate when it does that. I don't know if we got extra scouting on him. <laughs> Probably not, but I hope it always bounces you up. It's I think it's on your last interview that just bounces you back to the top. But yeah, highly unlikely we got any additional information on him. Nope. But what did it say... Oh, no, it does say some concerns if you can handle a professional environment. 
I do like that 18 and three-year ETA. Like that is pretty solid. So I might, I might pick him up, especially as a right-handed guy. We did get Makara and stuff like that, but still scouted by me, bitch. That's right. All right. Anyway, so here we go. NHL entry draft. I already got the uh, the settings turned on, and I did make some extensions. I guess we'll talk about that in a sec. I did. I extended Larkin, and it's a decent deal. It's a six-year deal, at like 9.3 mil. It's not a great, but it's decent for what he brings to the table, man. It's God, he was good. So where's our pick? So we don't. Okay, we can't. Oh wow, what? Oh yeah, we don't have a first. <laughs> I forgot we don't have a first. We picked up a bunch of seconds. That's right. And then we couldn't really find any of these low elite type dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I remember. No, no first for us. All right, so let's see what's in that. Uh, in that top five there. 82 overall elite sniper. Nice. New Jersey gets an 81 overall center playmaker. Shown mockers. Uh, 78 overall, two-way forward center. 77 overall, winger, playmaker, Hagman. And the Sharks get, oh my goodness, Ninimon, 81 overall center playmaker. Sharks got a steal. Look at that. Should have went second overall. Well, debatable. Let's see. Is he built weird or something? No. He's built real good. Not the greatest on face-offs, but they're built almost exactly the same, hilariously. Real good pick right there, yeah. All right. Well, there we have it. Let's sim up to our own pick here in the second round and see what we can see. Ooh, top six is going. We need to find a guarantee here. Was there any? Yeah, high top six. When's, when's the transition to top nines right there? Okay, top nines and top sixes here. No steals. I might go straight up for that possible low loot here. I think we will. Ronick, power forward. Four-year ETA. It's not too bad at age 18. It's probably the pick right now. I don't want to take a gamble. No weaknesses on this guy. Three-year ETA. Like, this guy could be one of those top sixes, but it's not a guarantee. Like, he could still be a top nine, and, and as a playmaker, that's a wasted pick right there. So, oh my god, there's an enforcer. <laughs> I can't wait to see what he is. That's going to be hilarious. Anyway, uh, let's go with Wesley Roenick here. I think this is the pick. I definitely think it's the pick. So, let's grab him. 61 overall, and at age 18. He might be turning 19 soon, but still. It's not too bad of a pick right there. 61 overall. Better overall than those dudes. That is for sure. What's that enforcer going to turn out to be? Kind of curious about that. Uh, was that the playmaker? No, that's the power forward. Where's the playmaker I was looking at? Because that's going to be interesting. Okay, so he did Okay, so he did turn out to be a top six. 65 overall. Pretty, Still pretty good, especially at age 18. And his face-offs aren't bad. They're at 70. So, Yeah, that would have been also a good pickup. Especially for our lack of centers. But... Again, we didn't have the scouting information. We went with the safe play. More top sixes here. We might actually get ourselves a top six. But where's that enforcer? Where's that enforcer? Oh my god! <laughs> what? 20-year-old, 64 overall, right-handed enforcer defenseman. Legend. Antoine Fournier is a legend. Six foot three. That is freaking hilarious. Oh my god. I had a feeling he was going to be at least a top four, but I did not think he was going to be an elite. Holy hell. <laughs> Red Wings with a steal. Oh, if this was on stream, someone would have picked him just because he's an enforcer, and they would have they would have freaking struck gold. That is awesome. All right, let's sum up to our next pick here in the second round. Damn it. It's farther back. So less likely we get anything super special. But we'll see. We shall see what's here. I didn't really pin anyone because... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we can grab a goalie. Five-year ETA, sure, but... Leadership, work ethic, maturity, only endurance is weakness. Or there's a gem right here. Another power forward. Another winger. Four-year ETA. Is a gem. There's also a gem here. Ooh. 20 years old. Hmm. Good offensive instincts confirmed. Lefty. Let's, do we need, I mean, I don't know, I have no idea about his ETA, and some of those stuff are pretty low. Why is he, listen, has a gem here. That's a risky-ass pick. Do we have, we do have another pick I could grab him with. 
It's a very risky pick, but I could snag him just to snag him. What's our defensive situation like? If he becomes an elite, we still have Niku. Yeah, we have Niku. We got rid of Shanahan. Left side. We got obviously the right side's looking pretty good now. We got Parson on the left side. Niku is a question mark. Voda. Um, man, 61. So he's not really turning out to be much. We got a, tons of low elite guys. But not all of them looking like, not many of them looking like they're becoming, oh man, a lot of these low elites like long, only looking like a top six guy at this point, or maybe a fringe top four. Yeah, we don't have a lot of guys who are looking super strong. Tikhanov is looking okay, but not a lot of guys looking super strong. Bludov is looking good, but he's a long way off. I think it might be worth taking a risk on that. Svoboda's looking the best, but it's still not a guarantee he becomes a true top four. 21.79. And it's cutting it. it he, he could get there, but I don't know. Is he going to be better than Niku? That's a big old question mark. We got a couple years to figure that out. Left hand, we got our top two on the left hand. We got our two right handers for the top four looking solid. But yeah, as, as many guys as we do have, it's there's lack of a guarantee. Yeah. Aubrey, top six. Long, maybe top four. Tikhanov, maybe top four. Bludov. Bludov's the closest one to get in the top four. Tikhanov, Wong. They're way more of question marks. So. Goalie-wise, might be time to pick up another Elite in case we need to make a trade. They're always good to throw in for value. And they have less value now, so I feel less bad about snagging them in drafts. <laughs> so let's, let's go for Olsen here. Another Swedish goaltender. I like him. Says five year ETA is 18. Those stats aren't too bad. I think he'll be in his 50s. So let's snag him. Olsen. At 55 at 18. Not bad. Medium elite. And then we have another pick here. Let's see if there's any crazy steals that go before. Nope. Top six. Top nine. Nothing. They want the 60s. No, no, no. We can't. We can't get. No, get out. Howard. Howard, look. No. What the hell are you doing? What do you see what I see? You want that 20 year old? I think we got to take a gamble unless we have and it's a lefty too, which is what I was just talking about maybe needing. This guy's also a lefty, but highly unlikely he's going to be as good as this guy. This guy might actually have medium elite potential with the way we've seen this draft go. I know nothing about him. He might be a weak skater, he might be injury prone. We really know nothing about him besides that he has good offensive instincts and no personality quirks. He's 6'5", which is pretty awesome. <laughs> He's likely going to be a two-way defender. 20 years old and a gem. I think i got to make that pick, man. Like, I don't think he'll be... He's got to at least be top four, right? I could be wrong, but... Do we have another pick that I might be able to snag him with? I don't think so. Nope, we do not, so... And it doesn't matter anyway. This is This is kind of the time to pick him anyway. There's nothing else really, besides this guy I might have grabbed, or taking a chance on this 20-year-old. Ooh. Ooh, three-year ETA. That's a guarantee. Oh, man. Ah, it's another. Ugh. Oh, I'm so torn now. Three-year ETA. God damn, I want both of them. Could I snag a third in some way can I trade up for one of those I want to snag both of these guys who the hell's pick is that oh coyotes do they want to trade that third they should they do it's Detroit's third so we'll trade up with our own third here yeah we'll put our own third in here and then maybe a later pick like a I don't think a seven will do it we do have two sevens though we have oh we have a bunch of fives let's do the latest oops whoa the latest five which is our own let's throw those two picks in for that three Okay, woefully insufficient, he's saying. Yikes. We only have one four. Let's do a five and then one of the sevens. Still probably not going to be enough. Not sufficient. Okay. Do we have any garbage prospects I could throw in? I'm keeping an eye on that timer. Don't you worry. Goalies. Nope, all elites. How about skaters here? Any prospects who ain't panning out? Unsigned, top six, 19, 64, what are you? Two-way four, those are kind of decent to hold on to, but he's someone I could throw in. Looks like that's it, all the rest are low elites here. All right, let's try to throw him in there, since we are gonna be getting another 
We should easily get that now. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. We should get that. I can maybe pick up a pick from next year. There's no way I get another. I don't know. That guy might be worth a third. Let's grab a third from next year. Yeah, it'll go through. Cool. So we got, we still, yeah. We got some good stuff right there. That pretty much guarantees ourselves equal value. Almost. Okay, I'm running out of time here. I, I want to take a chance on both of them. So I'm going to grab Nichols first. I'm going to grab two 20-year-olds here. I have a feeling this guy might be something special, especially with that three-year ETA. So let's grab Bryson Nichols here and hope that he's something special. All right, all right. Top six. Okay, I was hoping for an elite. But a medium top six, 65 at 20. Not horrible. He's a sniper, so that's a little less ideal. Because was, I was hoping for he would be that two-way forward. But it's still pretty good. Yeah, damn it. If he's an elite, that's a lot better. But still, still worth, I think, making the move for that. And now we got one more here. Let's see any more of the crazy steals. Now I'm kind of, I think the other guy's only going to be top four now that I'm looking at it. Please don't go. He wouldn't have gone that far out of order. But I want to see what they got there. Another low top six. Okay. All right, third. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to grab that defenseman because, like I said, he's listed as a gem. We don't know his ETA, but I'm hoping it'll be three years like the other guy. He might only be top four, but that's still kind of worth it. Still kind of worth to have. Kirill Safranov. Adding more dudes from the Russian area to this team. I like that he has offensive instincts. And he's big. That's interesting. You don't really see that too often. So I'm going to grab Kirill Safranov here. Come on, baby. Steal. Elite. 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 Nah, top four. Damn it. So probably three or four year ETA for him as well. Yeah. And he is a defensive defenseman. Weird. But... Yeah, he does have good offensive win. That's weird. But he's going to be good defensively anyway. So we'll see what he becomes. If He, he could have crazy growth. But I still think those two picks are worth it for this, for where we are. Because value-wise, it's equal to or greater than. So and we trade away our own pick here, right? Yeah. So all right, let's continue on here. Not bad. Into the fourth round. Ooh, a top six. He's got, whoa, 18. Not bad. Fringe starter, not not too bad right there. Another top six. Also 18. Very cool. So keep an eye out for some of these guys here. This is kind of deep in in the fact that I, these are a lot of like, ooh, Solovyov. Oh, that was the guy I was looking at, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. My bad. Ah, oh, who cares? We got enough. We got enough elites. Let's grab this guy. Never mind. Don't grab him. I got so carried away looking at those two other dudes, I forgot about the actual guy we had. <laughs> I was looking at. Oh, well, that's what I get. Pronger. Again, not a big deal. Hmm, possible. No, another 20-year-old. Another 20-year-old. Alrighty, well. Possible elite, 19. Not incredible, five-year ETA at age 19. Likely could be an elite. E either of these guys could be, but not with the way it's kind of gone here. A lot of fringe stars and stuff like that. Corpicari, no. A lot of 20-year-olds here. What the hell is going on? Weirdly, all of those top six dudes were like 18. So we're in a kind of a weird area right now. Guaranteed low top six. Of course, he's weak on face-offs. Another righty defenseman, which we don't really need. Sniper on the defensive event. That's weird. Some weird stuff you see here. Ooh, three-year NHL ETA. I'm snagging this guy. Three-year NHL ETA. Fuck yeah. Oh, rip. <laughs> I got excited. Usually if you see good ETA, they're usually kind of steals sometimes. But not, not in that case. Top nine guy. Fine. Continue on here. Starter goaltender. All right. Let's see. Starter goaltender. Interesting. Guaranteed top six. That defenseman dude's still there, but 20 years old. Now it might be the time to bank on some of these guys. But that ETA, it's either four or five years, so he's not looking that good. Power forward. Nope. Ooh, here we go. 18. 
Probably five-year ETA. Two off from Elite, so he can only be medium top nine. Are there still medium top nines going? No. Not a whole lot. Hmm. I like that. That kind of... That's an anomaly. I like anomalies. Probably weak on face-off, sure, but whatever. I'm taking him. That's an anomaly. That's that's interesting. Martinek. Okay. Oh, shit. Guess my scouting info wasn't correct, because he did drop down to medium top nine, even though he had two ticks towards elite. So, yeah. He must have not been scouted that recently, because that they're not supposed to drop like that if you got good information. Oh, fucking elite goalie. Top six, grinder. No, two elite goalies. Nice, good. Computers are striking gold on those elite goalies. You like to see it. I'm not gonna hog all of them. Alright, hold on. What was that top six, dude? No, that's the seven. Where was the top six? No, 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 no. I don't wanna, I don't wanna exit. 54, 19, okay. There's a couple 19 year olds here. Ernie was 19, shot utilization, five year ETA. That kind of fits in with what that other guy was. 20 years old. Leadership, three year. Oh man, I'm torn now. You know what, let's go for this here with the five year, because I think he'll be actually top six. Kagosari, I think, hold on. That was our guy. I don't know, actually. Both of them are kind of anomalies. The other guy fits in with the top six, but he could also drop down to there. With the ETAs. Huh. I haven't got great luck with the 20 year olds yet, but... Three year ETA is really good. And this guy's five year ETA. Around the same age. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the Hail Marys. I'm gonna keep going for Hail Marys here, see if I can get lucky. Oh my god, no. Really? That's a three year NHL ETA in your book? EA? Oh my god. Alright, well I'm 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 taking so many L's in this draft, I'm losing count. Let's decline that. Let's see if I made the wrong pick. Was that other guy a top six? No, he was also a bottom six. Oh my goodness, yeah. All right, so it is not a guarantee anymore with the uh, the scouting accuracies to only be going up and down one, I don't think. Because I've done that quite a bit, and it's been vastly different a lot, so too bad. Tom Chichu. Leadership ability. <laughs> 20 years old. Four-year ETA at age 20. Could be a low elite, but a whole lot going on here. Nineteen. Ooh. I like that. I like this more than anything else. Do I have a pick around 197 to grab him? I should. Oh yeah, we have like a bunch of fives, don't we? Or we traded one. I should have a six. Yeah, I should have a six within that range. Yeah, which pick is this? Yep. Cool. Alright, let's take a blind pick and then we'll grab that dude next. What's his name? I forget. He's down there. I'll not... I won't let him, I won't forget about this one. <laughs> um, high backup or high fringe starter? Hmm, probably a high, I don't know. Let's, again, let's, let's keep going for the Hail Marys here. Chichu. Top nine, not amazing, not horrible. Keep trying to find the blind pick of steals, but I'm not having too much luck here. That's okay, though. Alright, now we can grab that other dude. Should be 10 slots down. Yeah, Lin. Two ticks on that. I really like the ETA. It can only be as low as three years, I believe. If that's, our, again, 100% accurate, which it may not be. Leadership and character is good. Good to have his strengths. He shouldn't drop down to low seven. He could be, yeah, he could be just another low top six, which again isn't optimal, but let's check their ages, actually, of those low top sixes. If they're 19 and stuff, oh, man. Yeah, fuck me. Not too good. 
Okay. Well, any low 17s then? Nope, that's a 20 year old. Don't. I just need to find some super young guys, I think. If I can find anyone who's 17, they might be worth just taking because. Eighteen. Maybe. Eighteen as well. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like Lynn now. I'm seeing that other trend happening. This guy could be really low. All of them could be quite low. This guy's 17. Good shot utilization. Five years, sure. He could be really low, though. Again, it could be another bottom six guy, which I don't want. But didn't get a whole lot of help from the scouts this year. We do have a couple sevens. Let's go for the really young guy and just see what happens. All right, fine. Bottom six. Trying to break the trends here, but man, of course, of course. So he what? He actually was. Fucking hell. Ah. <laughs> oh. Holy hell. I should just stick with my gut here. Jeez. So he was like. The trend. Was <laughs> my goodness. I look at the other two 19 year olds and they all drop down to there. I don't grab him. Oh, man. Was that the same? It was Lynn, right? Yeah. What an L. Multiple L's here. All right. Let's take this guy. Now he won't be a low elite because my luck is terrible. Oh, yay. We got one. Hype. <laughs> I got one. Fuck yes. Uh, all right. Not a complete horrible draft there, but it wasn't a 70 overall. At age 19, that would have been sexy, and he's lefty too. Oh, man. Damn. I should. Yeah, that's what you get. Stick to your guns. Take a lesson from me. Stick to your guns. And don't get scared. Uh, usually, usually I'm good at spotting trends. This draft, I am terrible. Another elite goalie. Uh, a high backup, I think. Was that the high? No, the high guy was coming earlier. All right, can I get one more steal here in the seventh? Can I make up for some of the earlier bungles here? Maybe, maybe not. Not looking great. Yep, not a whole lot of info here. What's around? Low bottom sixes even. The elite went. How old was he? 19. All right, if there's a 19 goalie, I'll take it. I don't think there is, though, around here. Bunch of defensemen, and that's about it. 17-year-old, 20-year-old. It's a bit different. Don't really know that ETA. How old was he? 18. Again, I should just ignore all trends because clearly <laughs> it hasn't helped myself much in this draft. And that guy's 19. Well, that guy had low, so who knows. That guy's a guaranteed five-year ETA. This guy, not so much. And he has more room to get better. No report on that guy at all. All right, let's 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 stick with my gun here and see if I can grab something special. Nope. <laughs> Low seven. All right, any other steals here at the end that I, I'm going to whiff on? Can I take any more L's here? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Unless. Nope, okay. <laughs> but I could have had better value right there. Yikes. Well, that looked sort of promising. I screwed up a couple times. Oh well, <laughs> the good news is, is that we're pretty set for the future here. Eves Robida, an assistant coach. It's for working on the defensemen. Yeah, I like that. 
Let's see. He might not want to come back, though. Four year. All right. Let's bump him up. I don't want to lose him. I like him on my coaching staff. Just take the money. Because I, I might have... Yeah, he wants to be an associate coach. But I'm pretty sure... Oh, wait. Is he my assistant or associate? Yeah, he's the assistant. Yeah, so... I have to make him an assistant. So I got to bump him up a lot. Because he's going to be like, no, I want my actual role. He might actually still decline this. That could be a thing. But I'll max him out to make sure... Well, to try to make sure it doesn't happen. Again, he might just decline it anyway. Could definitely happen. Alright, and our head coach became an A+. Plus from his experience. But poor Medvinov doesn't fit in. Butsev and Makar do. A lot of our younger guys don't. Folshenko does a bit better. I'll see if we could find a better coach, but I don't know that we will. I can't go into higher right now, so... Alright, one scout coming off contract. I think he's a pro scout and he's pretty good. Yeah, he's very good. Let's sign him. Get him. And I could still, yeah, we don't have to like have someone off contract now to be able to look there. I will look, I guess, for more scouts, but don't have to immediately. Alright, here we go. Verana, does he want better than a 9 million contract? Oh my god, fuck you, you're out of here. I'm not paying him. He did jump up to an 89, yes, but I can't afford to pay him that much. I just, I can't do it. Can't do it. We got extensions kicking in this year. And we'll have more extensions coming up next year from Voloshenko. Niku will be coming off contract, sure. Flurry's an 82. Please don't want an absurd deal. He wants an absurd deal. Oh, it doesn't look like he could be in my top six anymore. <laughs> yep, now's the time where we got to start turning over Leafs here. Damn. How did he jump up? Well, he had a really good year. I guess I should have gone with him when it was only around 9 mil if I wanted him, but now he's far too expensive. Far too expensive to grab. Like, I just can't. I can't afford that. Can't do it. Unless there's a one-year deal and then we're kind of stuck. Then we still have other things to sign, you know? So I don't think we could do it. So Voboda might be ready. I think he's ready for top six. You know what? Yeah, he should be. So we should be able to get rid of Flurry. We're going to have to go Svoboda and then TVR I think is going to decline. We still have, uh, how about Johannesson? Is he ready? He's listed as depth. Eh, he's not that great. What kind of deal does he want? Yeah, he wants it two ways, so hold on for the AHL, but that's it. Svoboda could be top six, but we need, might need another righty here. Let's release Flurry. How much does TVR want? If he declines, he declines. We could always make a trade. He doesn't want that much. It's affordable. I really think he, I think with that price, though, look, he's looking like he'll decline, but try to save some money here. Let's, let's take him back. Aubrey, again, keep him on contract, maybe future top six. Malmstrom, need Wong here, that's his entry level. One, two, three, four, five. Or no, Snuggerud might be depth. So five, still only five. All right. So keep Malmstrom, I guess. Yep. There's six, and keep Siegenthaler, I guess, for depth. Slash, maybe he plays and Malmstrom sits. All right, that's perfect. One year at that price. All right, uh, I think Caro's out of here, even though he did good. Rensfeld should be ready for backup. Anderson, yeah, he's declining even more. And uh, him and Rensfeld will kind of fight it out. This is Anderson's last year, so we'll free up cap space when he leaves. And this is perfect timing because we let go of Corral, and we get Nylander to his entry level. 
And he comes in and becomes probably the backup or maybe even the starter in the AHL. Him and Prosser will fight it out. And then we got Anderson Rensfeld. So, yes, our goalie situation will be a little, a little bit suspect this year. Now I'm almost considering getting Ovi back again. Because UFAs are going to be hard to come by. What kind of contract does he want? Not very much. I can get him back to a really, really affordable price. I think we're going to have to let Verona go. Because if you look at our forward situation, our first line is going to be Larkin, Medvinoff, probably Sherry. So center, right winger, left winger. Or we move Medvinov onto the second line. If this is a... Yeah. We might keep Fawcett. I mean, if we keep Fawcett. He doesn't like Fawcett, which sucks. But he likes Robodon and Cracknell. Again, we could still look for a better coach. That's still an option. Love how if their UFA doesn't say if they fit into the scheme anymore. So we still got... Voloshenko is going to be like an 87. He'll be ready... He might even be ready for top line, but I might... I don't know. Larkin, Medvedov, Shiri. They'll only be getting plus one. If I had Voloshenko up there, doesn't make a whole lot of sense with this lack of face-offs. Well, we'll see what happens. I can't... I, I just can't afford Verona back, I don't think. Obi could do, like, second line again. Coral Uke is still a question mark. I do want him to try to get in there, but... We can kind of play Ovi on either side, honestly. Same with Medvinov. You can go right or left side. The thing about Coral Yuka is also doesn't really fit into the coach's scheme. So I do feel like we need a new coach when it comes to this. In a lot of ways. Just someone who will fit in with some of our younger guys better. Our current coach, it really works for our defensemen. Butsaya, Makar. How about Parse? Yeah, Parse as well. Damn. That's the thing about this Fawcett guy. Coral Uke might not grow either, to be honest. He might be a third liner, which he does fit in on that third line. So, ugh. But when do we draft this guy? Yeah, he's a fourth overall pick. You don't really want them to cap out as a fourth liner. It's just his awareness sucks. I don't think he's ever going to produce well offensively. So Medvinov is really the only one who, who, who kind of sucks that he doesn't really fit into our, our upper lines. But he still finds ways to produce. Look at what he did last year. Now, contract he's on. Yeah, you can say either way. If, ah, God damn, this is tough. Ovi's going to decline super hardcore, and we don't have a veteran coach. <sighs> but I cannot afford... Well, I could afford Verona if I bump him down to a year. We could let Ovi go and get Verona back for a year. I could afford him if I bumped him way down. And that would, and he works on that first line. Then we could have Medvinov sent, well, then we kind of run into that issue where it's like, we could do Medvinov on the left side. He'll take away some, some chemistry from that top line, sure. But they're already good enough. They don't really need that crazy of a plus. So Larkin, Verona, Medvinov top line. Then sec, second line could be Shiri. Volshenko gets hybrid production. Then we need another right winger. We could trade Coral Uke for some stuff. I don't know. We're kind of in a rough spot here. But I think Ovi's got to go here. I could get Verona back for a year. Basically, I'll have one of these guys back for a year. So let's say Ovi goes. It sucks. It sucks, man. But. We can get him back for 9.2 something. For a year. We're stretching the gap, but if it's only for a year, it'll be fine. We, we're going to need to outscore our mistakes once again. So let's get that for a year. Hopefully he signs for that. He might decline because I'm really cutting his years back. But it'll still give us two million of wiggle room here. Let's advance. I, oh yeah, hold on. You can actually advance day from here. Someone told me that. I keep forgetting because it's been years since you're able to do that. Let's advance day. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. The coaches always do that. You get them, you get them like above their role, but they won't ever accept an extension for their role. TBR rejected. Okay. Also, Verona rejected. Yeah, I figured. We got everyone else back though, so we might have to just move on from Verona and try to find someone else. 
because price wise kind of sucks and I don't want to I'm not giving TVR longer so I might have to move on from TVR and find someone else we might just have to find two other people in free agency here as much as I wanted to hold on to Verona especially on that top line I don't think it's going to work out and I can't give them that many years yes Niku's coming off contract but we have to get Voloshenko and I don't know how much he's going to want yet god Verona's good though Thing is, if I give him that price for multiple years, he has a bad year, he'll decline. That's kind of what I'm worried about. I can maybe try two years, but it's going to be tough. We can line him up with Shiri. We're saving money on Holtz. We got Larkin long term. We'll have to get Voloshenko. We're kind of saving money on Coral Uke. We're giving him a to prove me contract, but... Yeah, we're going to have to let some dudes go here. Makar, once once Makar, well, once we can give Makar a better deal, that'll be slightly better too. Pars is on a great deal for now, but he'll probably want next, he'll want a better price. Yeah. Anderson will come off contract, which will help us. Then we could abuse entry levels for Rensfeld. We could, yeah, we we can extend him quickly, but it, again, I don't know if he'll become a true true elite number one, which is why we got Nylander coming up. So it's a tough situation here with Verona. Really tough. I could give him two years. That's really all I could do. But that's... Look at that price, man. It's a heavy price tag. We will be kind of handcuffed. We won't be able to get much more. I think I gotta move on. I think I do. I think I gotta find someone else. But you know what? It's time to give Holtz the ice time anyway. He needs to jump up. So may, I think we're trying him out on that first line now. Holtz onto the top line. Ron won't be... Yeah, we got to find a new second liner, so we'll do that. Bye. Sorry. It's just got to happen, man. I, I kept Larkin. I think Larkin's the more important piece there. I think Larkin, Medvinov, and Holtz on that top line now. And then Shiri, Voloshenko, and someone else. I think Koroluk's going to have to be third line. Eventually, I think he's going to be trade bait. Unless he jumps up a huge amount here. And he starts proving that he can produce, but he hasn't yet done that. I would love for him to replace Shiri. But I'm not seeing it from him, you know? I'm not seeing it from him. So, it sucks, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Alright. Well... What else do we need to sign here? Any more entries? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, no. That's Karali. Musil. We got to actually decide on a lot of these guys now. Can we even afford a lot of them? I think TBR. We, well, I could try to get him. He didn't want that one year. I would still like to try to say, you know, we could afford that for a year. And I'd rather do that instead of go to free agency. It's not going to tell me where he fits, is it? Damn it. He might decline, though. But we got the cash. We go, like I said, we can make a trade. All right, hold on. Let me... This is going to take a bit of time. We got to figure out what we want here. There's three. There's your top... Well, top five, maybe six. We've picked someone up in free agency. Three. Fourth line's a big old question mark. Can we get Karali still for it? Sundstrom's there. So, uh, yeah, Nordgren might be making NHL debut. Goodrow doesn't want to come back, so I'll let him go. Musil, can I afford him? For, if if he wants a two-way contract, I could do it. He does. Cool. I can keep guys on for two-way contracts to keep that better. I think Chartier has got to be out. I don't think he's going to want an AHL-type deal. He does. Holy shit. Okay. Can I... Will he accept that? That's weird. Okay. I'll take it. Kraus for our depth, I guess. Eh, he's kind of he's tapped out, man. If he wants an AHL deal, I'll give it to him. If he doesn't, he does. What the hell? Okay, sweet. Sure. I don't care if it's two years. That's a two-way deal, man. <laughs> um. So, yeah, what do we have? That's only eight. But I think we get Karali back. Yeah, I want to get Karali back because he's solid. Yep, that's affordable. Probably back to build that fourth line with Sundstrom and maybe Nordgren, I guess, if he's if he's ready. I don't know if he'll be ready, but defensively he's good enough. It's two right wingers. But I like Sundstrom and Nordgren might be making his debut. We might have to grab someone in free agency if he's not quite ready. 
Kraus I don't want to call up. Chartier isn't defensive enough. Gagne. And again, another right winger. I don't I still don't think Norgan will be quite ready, especially if he's listed as minor checker. We know Sundstrom is, but I don't think I think Norgan needs another year of development. I think he will need another year of development. So we might I think we'll pick up a, a left winger in free agency here for the fourth line. Uh, this P Pedersen guy. Lindberg. All right, well, we need Wellwood. Okay, here's some more entry levels coming in on the forward end of things. Well, one more entry level. So how many is that in my AHL right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no, no, no. Seven, eight. No, no. Eight, nine, ten. It's only ten. Yeah, we can sign a few of those guys. Just for a year, though. So let's get Pedersen back. Just a year for you, man. And Lindbergh, I guess, too. Is there someone else? Not Lindbergh. Let's do that. And we could still use a guy for depth there. But we can cross that bridge when we come to it. We can pick someone up in free agency. And AHL-wise... That's five, six in Siegenthaler, seven in Johansson. Yep, we're good. And goalies were good as well. So let's advance a day here. Hopefully everyone comes back. We got Corrali, we got TVR, we got Kraus, we got Lindbergh. Looks like everyone. So I think that's it. Let me just do a double check here and make sure. Yep, looks good to me. And we have some money to play with in free agency to grab ourselves a second line right winger. If it worse comes worse, we can get Ovi back for a year, but I don't think we will quite need that. Let's get up to free agency. I also want to check out coaches and stuff like that. I'll, I'm letting that other coach go because there's no yeah, there's no way I can get him back because he wants that higher role. And you saw it. I, I maxed him out. <laughs> yeah, I will be. Don't you worry. I'll have the contracts. All right. First of all, let's check coaches. We know we need another assistant. We also need an assistant for the AHL. But let's see if there's a head coach here who would maybe fit our scheme better. Petit is 60, but offense, defense, power play, all A pluses, penalty kill A minus, teaching A plus, coach influence A minus. He's won a Stanley Cup and a presidents. He likes Butsev. He likes Larkin. Doesn't like Medvinov at all, which sucks. Doesn't like Holtz either. Yikes. Or Voloshenko. Okay. How about you? Not as great of a teacher, but it's not like we need that much of growth anymore. Most of our guys are already up there. So we could we could slack off on that. Offense is kind of an issue. This guy seems like a very defensive type coach, but good influence. Mevinov is fits his scheme more. Holtz fits his scheme more. Parse not so much. Voloshenko, though. Coral you cannot really at all, but we might think about trading him. And every, yeah, that's pretty good. Larkin doesn't as much, neither does Shiri, but. That's pretty good all the way around. Behind the net, behind the net, overload, crash, and that interesting. Yeah, Coral, you could only fit on that fourth line because I think he's a crash to the net guy. Pinch cycle, balance, balance, hold cycle, interesting. All right, how about Mark Wart here? Beam, again, don't need that teaching as much. Hasn't won any awards, yikes. No thanks. How about you? Really bad offensive coach. And while no one's like crazy out of this world, that fits everyone a lot, man, not so much. Holtz and Parse are down there. Pretty good right here. Larkin way down there. Honestly, I think our coach right now is almost the best for our situation. I do like his defensive strategies. Balanced is at least pretty good. At least you won't let me lose in a ton. But, I mean, you see the, I don't know, Fawcett, it really helps for a lot of our stars. Makar and Butsayev, like all those guys, it really is good. Like this would almost be good, if, but Holtz, I need Holtz. We need Medvinov. Niku for now. Voloshenko, like, no, that's our future. Voloshenko, Medvinov, Holtz, like, no. I know it's Butsayev, Makar up there, good. And even Parse, but, yeah. 
Honestly, I think the coach right now that we have is hilariously the best. So I'll, I'll do the coaches and stuff off camera, but I just wanted to take a gander right there. But yeah, speaking of taking a gander, got to turn off our uh, fought or turn back on the fog of war here. No cheating when it comes to free agency. All right, let's see. Come on, right winger. Yeah, well, there's Verona. We know about that, of course. Ovechkin, Castle, all declining. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, there is... Uh, why are you wanting that little of a price? Rip. I don't know. Kessel could fit in second line. He got a lot of production last year still. Odds are he won't be super heavily declined. But the price tag is a bit interesting. We know Ovi exactly. He's 84 now. Top 9. Might even drop further. Lindholm I really don't know about at all. Don't like that production from Smith. Kessel might be the way to go, hilariously. Yeah, a bunch of people trying to go for Verona here. And makes sense. He's solid. Well, Kessel probably. <laughs> Kessel's kind of maybe the option here. I don't know. Lindholm might be an idea. Well, that's kind of it. There's also Kasha, but I don't think he got too good in this one. Doesn't look like it by the price tag. I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe Kessel. At least he'll only be have like top six, so he won't decline as heavily as Ovi, I think. So he definitely is the, the safer bet. I'll probably only do one year. And then might yeah, we might be trading Coral Uke for the the right winger guy that we need might be the case here but we don't really need defense there's no real goaltenders there besides Comrie we can't really trade Anderson at this point I don't think anyone's wanting that contract so yeah it's kind of where we're at right now all right well there's some options here in free agency. Nothing crazy, not, not a whole lot, but there are a few options that we can go for. Veteran type guys, maybe. Might be the ticket. Who knows? But uh, that that's it right now. Oh, I forgot to all check the awards in the next one because I just remembered I forgot to check them in this one here before the draft, but that's okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you in the next one.